to be able at any moment to sacrifice what we are for what we could be. I don't do well in math. You're right. You ain't never studied. Uh, I think it's Friday. Uh, this vlog is non-existent at the moment. So just making a little load. Anyway, I went over yesterday to uh, have a look in the shower that leaked down into the ceilings. Um, seems like there's a lot of water there. I don't know why. The filter was a bit blocked in the, sh in the shower gully. So I've removed all the dirt and cleaned it. Ran the water for about five minutes and I seemed to be running away fine. But So I went and bought some silicone and stuff to try and on a threshold to try and create a water free zone or whatever I don't know it's going to make any difference and then the shower screen in the other room is too small so all the water is just flowing straight out onto the floor so I mean I went to purchase a shower screen they didn't have one it won't be in stock till this morning I'm getting it delivered specially so I'm going over to collect that today fit the shower screen silicone all around the inside of the shower between the walls and the floors and uh, I fit the threshold managed to like it to buy a load of towels yesterday got a fire extinguishers and stuff been on to the insurers again for like the second all last week they're just i don't know gonna buy a fire blanket today as well and that's about it collect the other towels drop over new towels again Um, hopefully it's not too much of a disturbance for them having a fucking floor leaking all over the place but whatever hopefully these bits will fix it just moving forward the shower is going to have to be like maintained like massively every check in and check out yeah nothing still just waiting a lot on transferring money and still no clearance of the funds from the crypto so i'm really stuck with cash credit card is maxed overdraft is maxed uh, loans of uh, one friend two and a half another friend a thousand i did manage to get three payments made for bookings yesterday so that's obviously the guest that's in there and then the guest is arriving on monday and the guest is arriving uh, on next wednesday or so need to learn how to get that automated and get it set up when they make a book and the email is sent to them straight away to pay for it and i need to get new pictures up that's the one bit of feedback they gave me back was that like obviously everyone and i'm getting that a lot is concerned that there's no furniture in the place um so it's been listed a while hopefully these guys will leave a good review i left them i gave them 40 quid off i didn't charge them the cleaning bill it's not much but i mean it's something and a new towels every day and uh, i'm going to leave them over a bottle of wine and some sweeties tonight hopefully i get everything fixed and uh, hopefully that will be enough for them to leave a good view these things happen i suppose but so they check out on sunday but anyway that's the plan for today i also have to get the welcome pack completed i took a lot of pictures yesterday of all the things the boiler and all that and i just want to get them printed out on the welcome pack with just pointing to them then go up to the shop and get that thing printed and created so that i that's sitting on the mantelpiece for the how to work the tvs and everything and the gas and all of the above the property is still not listed with the council uh, I haven't been able to switch over the broadband and the gas, the gas, the electric and the broadband are all in one package but it's on hold because the property is not listed, they can't find it on Royal Mail, the address, I've been in contact with the agent, he said he was chasing it um, with the owner, the owner is in Saudi Arabia, don't think it'll be an issue but I just do think that it will come back, it'll slow things down-ish, gotta try the TV licence today and the council tax is just it's more money and I don't have any, so at the moment I'm also spending one of my housemates paid the rent for where we're living here and I'm spending that so it's not ideal Um, obviously I will have to factor in moving forward like the bills the council tax and um, all of those costs on top of the property it's a learning curve I'm working out like I can drop the price as low as 150 when it gets closer to like I've got four days in between two bookings now where there's nothing and there's no one buying so I've dropped the prices to 175 uh, I can probably drop them to 150 and still be making some kind of profit so it's going to be minimal like at that stage it's probably down to around 20 quid a day or something by the time I pay the cleaners and the bills and all of that but I mean if it's for four days it's 80 quid that week I mean it's fucking pennies I need to work that out actually but uh, and plus I am literally now about two weeks behind on the vlogs I'm trying to load one up yesterday from before I left um, and it's just frozen so I'm loading I tried three times yesterday so I'm going to load that now um, on, a, on the other hand obviously I'm still wrecked after the uh, stag do the weekend so I haven't got back down doing any training although my back feels good I must contact that physio today actually and about that booking and uh, I need to go cycling I've got the uh, Prudential 100 coming up in about three or four weeks time and uh, 
I think I'm going to do it a hundred mile cycle so I haven't been doing a lot of cycling but I need to be putting in like one and a half three yeah it's ten hours a week I need to start getting away and getting back into the fitness which is good for the mind obviously the social media posting thing has gone out the window completely like uh, after the Dan Meredith um, week of posting meme and creating memes and posting funny pictures and stuff which is good it gained a lot of traction for a lot of people and hashtagging I find it difficult I won't lie I find it difficult so I need to start doing that like again but now I've got a property and pictures and whatever so I mean I can be advertising that and out viewing and, and whatever it's just I'm, I'm literally on hold with money I'm, I'm at a bottleneck with money now and uh, even going out to view new places I've got no money to even pay for them so I need to get my head around having funds all the time like I've, I've got a uh, financial backing so the media stuff will come after that I've got financial backing um, but I've got to pay like 25% for the use the guarantor of the profits and then another 25% for funds up front so that's 50% of all profits like uh, for the full three years of the thing like that's a hard I can get better than that I, I didn't have to use them on this one because I paid two months rent up front I'm going to start using friends and family the friends I've used now I'm going to pay them back 10% on the money so I got a thousand quid up front and I'm going to pay them 1100 it's going to be like a three a month later or whatever the two and a half I'll pay two seven uh, fifty maybe they'll be happy to give me 10% I'm going to ring another um, um, family member uh, that I know has got uh, some funds and I'm going to say to them if they want to start giving them to me then I'll use them for short term loans um, throughout the year but I need, I, I need I need about 20 to 25 grand at my disposal because otherwise it just grinds to a halt every time you get a property which is fine because I'm on my own and there's a lot to do at the same time at the moment there's a lot of sitting around it's it's okay but it's just yeah in order for it to be full production like I need I need to sort that out you need the money that's it for today